guys welcome back to the channel um it's my day off i've been working for eight days straight was kind of thinking over how i wanted to do this video i kind of want to keep it short and sweet and i kind of want to make it about just the evo um yesterday i was at work uh was kind of in the middle of working a car deal and stuff, selling a car. And I get a message on Instagram, my friend back in Kalispell, he's like, I see your Evo hit the dyno today. And I was like, wait, what? I was like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, I, I thought that they just got the turbo. Um, so I went over to English Racing's Instagram and I don't know how much it makes. I don't know when it's going to be officially done. I am so excited. I finally am going to get my Evo back. It's going to be a, a spendy one. They... I don't even know how to... How to go about this. The Evo hasn't ran for... A year and a half spun a rod bearing when logan got it back to missoula and it kind of just sat for a while waiting to be rebuilt it has a brand new bader built uh block everything got put together trying to decide if i want to dive into this or not it all this it all got put together um when it got put together, it wouldn't start. It's apparently Evos have this weird like security thing that happens and however long it sat and such, it just, it wouldn't start. So the car had to be towed from a shop to Mitsubishi in Spokane. They finally were able to like jerry-rig it and uh, get it to start. Kind of just went through and like did a bunch of stuff with it, and uh, this was this was before I bought it. Um, I was really leery of buying it, but that's like a whole other thing. Anyways, bought the car. Logan sold the car to me for like ten grand under what it was worth, so I got a really good deal on it because he knew it needed some work still. So got the car. He put in some break-in miles on it, seated the rings and such. And then we took it to English so that it could get tuned. And I told him that I would feel more comfortable, uh, be a little on the safe side to have English racing, just fully go through the build, make sure everything was done right, you know, just be cautious because this Evo has been super picky. I nicknamed it the Curse Evo. Uh, to be more comfortable with the car and the build and everything, I wanted English to go through and nitpick every single part of this car and fix what needed to be fixed. And I found a lot, which was disappointing. It is what it is, I'm moving on. Um, it had a 67 millimeter turbo on it. We decided to order a new turbo we're putting a 55 millimeter on it because the 67 is, it's, it's unnecessary. I'm trying to get the Evo on the safer side so I can at least drive it. I don't, since I have the Mustang, I don't need the Evo to be a race car. I don't need it to be fast. I really just want it to be fun and not have to take it to the shop every couple months. Uh, so they put the new turbo on and it hit the dyno yesterday. I don't know how much it made. Uh, they, the video just said 600 plus, which is on E85. So um, that'll be like my safe. I, don't, I can't even call it safe, it's an Evo. Um, but yeah, 
No. Um, the Evo has just been like a real struggle for me. I, I haven't even driven it since I bought it and I bought it back in January and it's June. So it was slightly disappointing, but you know, it's, it is what it is. I have a Mustang and my Mustang, my Mustang makes me happy and it does exactly what I want it to do. Um, the Mustang is actually getting tuned next week before I leave, um, going on vacation. I'm gonna go to Alaska for a little bit. And when I get the Evo back, it's really, it's just gonna sit. Cause it's too hot out. It's, it's 117 degrees outside. My Mustang is just sitting right now. I don't wanna drive it when it's this hot out. It's, it's not reasonable. Um, so it's gonna sit for a while. At one point I need to take it to get body work because there was like a whole thing with a valet um, in LA when Logan picked up the car. We could never get that resolved though so it just needs some work on the front bumper and then some paint. And yeah, no, then I can actually start like diving into my Evo um, along with my Mustang and my expensive car habits. but. Yeah, no, I kind of just wanted to make this one about the Evo a little bit more instead of trying to cram like a bunch of stuff um, into a video and make it super long. Uh, my next one will be a little bit more about the Mustang. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, 